Hey guys, this is Hydra from X Trades back with another monthly update. And um, yeah, in this video, we'll go over um, the indices, the big cap tech stocks, and then the best looking stocks for the coming month. Um, as usual, we'll start off with the indices. Um, so here's the QQQ weekly chart. Really nice cup and handle starting to form here. So this is the cup, this is the handle, and now we're trying to break out. So really good action the last couple weeks for uh five uh green weeks in a row and this week we finally got a consolidation week so that's good but this rally has been incredibly strong um off these lows and uh, yeah let's take a look at the daily chart actually before we do that let me plot out the resistance lines so major resistance line over there and there was a major resistance line over there but we were able to break that and hold that this week so that's good um so yeah, 385 is a key support level, and ideally we hold that level. Now let's take a look at the daily chart. So yeah, this I would say this is the key level we want to hold. <clears throat> this is the gap up level. So as long as we hold up that gap up, we are in good hands. And um, yeah, bulls definitely have full control of the market right now. So really good action so far. Um, we're, we're starting to consolidate, and this is a new resistance level on the daily chart 391 area every time we yeah, hit that we end up projecting but uh, overall really good action and we're consolidating here really nicely so overall very good action um yeah i don't think anything else to say but um yeah bulls are in front full control and if we can consolidate here for a bit more and then break out then i think there's a good chance we see um new all-time highs um but yeah really strong rally so far now let's take a look at SPY. So SPY is a little bit weaker as uh, QQQ already took out this high, right? SPY is still right at it. Um, so that's one <clears throat> downside with SPY. But SPY didn't consolidate this week and it ended up actually pushing higher. So that's another thing. Um, but overall, QQQ and tech stocks are definitely stronger. But the SPY is starting to see some rotation come into it as well. Um, not much consolidation and really strong <clears throat> close on Friday. So very, very bullish sign. And, uh, you know, let's take a look at the weekly chart again. So, you know, if we, if we can take out this level, there's room to 470. And then after that, it's all time highs. But uh, really good action in SPY. And ideally, we want to see some consolidation start forming here, right under the resistance level. And then if we can do that and break out, then there's a good chance we see a move up to 471. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it for SPY. Now let's take a look at the big cap tech stocks. Start off with uh, Netflix. Netflix, incredibly strong rally. Um, it's just been going straight up, but it finally broke that uptrend. So now it's time for a pullback. Um, and I think there's a good chance we could pull back uh, to like that 450 level. Um, but yeah, that's what I see for Netflix. Take a look at the weekly chart. Really strong, yeah, very strong rally. And now it's pulling back. So 450 would be an ideal pullback level. Next up, Microsoft. Microsoft has been incredibly strong, making new all time highs. Um, let's take a look at the daily chart. Microsoft's also starting to pull back here. And ideally, it holds on to that uh, 367 level. There's some support over there. So. That would be the ideal pullback um, level. But overall, Microsoft very strong on the weekly chart. Next up, Meta. Um, Meta has been basing here for quite some time now. Um, so that's the low base, and it tried to break out, and now it's pulling back in. But it is trying to hold that 326 level. So as long as that 326 level, or as long as it's above that 326 level, then it's bullish. Otherwise, it can just come back into this range and consolidate for a while. Next up, Tesla. Tesla is acting all right here. It's It's been very choppy. Um, so there's there was a little bull flag here for me. And it tried to break out this week, but failed. But it can definitely take off again next week. So this one's definitely on watch again. And if it can take out that 242 area, then you would want to definitely be buying the stock. But overall, good action. Um, but yeah, I want to see that 242 level get taken out, and then I'll actually be bullish on Tesla. Uh, and there's also a weekly 
you're trying like this. So if you can take out this uh, downtrend, then uh, yeah, Tesla can see a big move. Next up, Google. Google is still stuck in consolidation, so not much to say for Google. Um, until it bra breaks either 139, then it'll be bullish, or if it breaks 126, then it'll be bearish. Until then, uh, Google's just stuck in consolidation. Uh, next up, NVIDIA. So NVIDIA is still basing here very nicely. Uh, let's go to the daily chart. It did sh show some relative weakness. Uh, market was a lot stronger, but NVIDIA uh, pulled back more than the market, so that's not a great sign. But ideally, NVIDIA uh, reclaims that 470 level. And if it can do that, then it should be fine. And it, sh it just needs time to consolidate and base. But uh, yeah, NVIDIA is acting fine on the weekly chart. It's just basing. Um, so yeah, nothing to be worried about there. Next up, we'll take a look at AMD. AMD had a very nice rally off the lows. Let's take a look at the daily chart. So yeah, incredibly strong rally off the lows. And now it's starting to consolidate. Has some... It has some support around this uh, 117 level, so if it uh, gets down there, that could be a good area to buy the dip. Um, but yeah, other than that, AMD is acting incredibly well, and if it can take out that 125 resistance level, then it would have room to make new 52 week highs. Uh, really good action on AMD. Next up, Apple. Um, Apple is also acting really well here very nice rally off the lows and now it's forming a bull flag and if it can take that uh, 191.75 level then there's a very good chance that it can continue to break out um but yeah apple is holding up better than most of the big cap tech stocks didn't pull back too much um so very bullish sign there for apple next up we'll take a look at arkk so let's see how good stocks are doing so very very impressive rally off the lows here uh, let's see how much percent the rally was so that's a 43.2 percent rally off the lows here so very very strong rally uh for arkk let's take a look, take a look at the weekly chart so it's been base building here for quite some time now and yeah so this is the base and uh, i think there's a very good chance that we could see a move up to that 50 and, and then test that 51.15 resistance level but uh yeah if arkk can break this uh base then there's a very good chance that a really big rally could start but uh, very impressive rally very strong rally off these lows so very good action so far but um, I think it's time to consolidate and rest here because we are getting pretty extended. Um, so I think there's a chance we get to that 50 level and then we end up resting for quite some time and then break out higher. But overall, very good action in growth stocks. And uh, yeah, now we'll take a look at the best looking stocks for the coming month. So uh, I always put a focus on stocks that have good earnings. And uh, yeah, so Path is a stock that had a really good earnings beat and uh, insane volume um so when you see insane volume on the earnings beat that's a sign that institutions are buying the stock and uh, that's exactly what path is showing here right so very strong breakout on path here um yeah really nice weekly chart here very strong candle very nice volume path is showing that um institutions are buying up the stock so definitely paying attention to this one ideally you want to wait for some sort of flag and then buy this one same thing with IOT. This one's a newer name. It's an IPO name. And uh, yeah, it's making new all time highs now. So, very impressive stock. Um, took out that resistance level. Really nice volume. And uh, yeah, ideally you want to wait for it to consolidate and then break out again. So, UPST. Um, heavily shorted stocks are starting to make a move again. And UPST is breaking resistance here. And uh, yeah, there's potential for it to make a move up to back up to 35 and then even higher after that. So yeah, UPST has a lot of potential. It made a big move earlier this year and then pulled back in. But uh, yeah, if it takes out that 35 level, there's no stopping it. It can squeeze really hard. So UPST is definitely a name that you want to watch. Um, Affirm, very strong breakout. Um, 
this week or last week. Um, had a very nice <clears throat> breakout on Monday, and then ever since then it's just been going up. And yeah, really nice volume, so that's a really good sign. Let's take a look at the weekly chart. Um, yeah, firm has a lot of room, a lot of upside potential here. It used to be 176, so this one definitely has a lot of room, and keep definitely keep an eye on it. Uh, and yeah, really nice weekly accumulation sign. Next up, let's look at SYM. SYM is another earnings beat name. It flagged here and then broke out, and now it's currently flagging once more. Um, flagging, and then it actually broke out on Friday. So we'll see if it can make a move back up to like that 60 level. But really good action on SYM. Let's take a look at the weekly chart. This is also a newer IPO name, but uh, yeah, really good action. It took out that 54 resistance level, so now it has room all the way back up to 60 and then new all-time highs really nice weekly uh, accumulation and uh, yeah really really nice chart this was one of my favorite charts uh, coin <clears throat> coin had a very nice run up didn't even consolidate much and it's trying to break out again um, yeah really really impressive action here from coin ideally you want to wait for some sort of pullback and then buy this one um, but yeah we're just waiting for some sort of flag or pullback to form coin but really impressive action next up dkng this one also an earnings gap up and then flagged here broke out and now it's starting to base here and if it can take out that 39.15 level then this one's a definite buy really really nice weekly chart as well um, this one has potential to yeah make move back up to uh, at least 50 53 dollars for sure um yeah next up shop Shop is another one that also had a really nice earnings gap up, and then ever since then it's just been going straight up, and now it's starting to flag here very nicely. So this one's a top watch for this week. If it can tighten up a little bit more, then this one's a definite buy. Really good action on Shopify, and uh, you could also try to buy this on a pullback buy if it comes down to seventy dollars. Um, yeah, I think that's actually all I got for this week. Thank you guys for tuning in and uh, have a good weekend.